used to, you could go out and you could cook on your patio and you could walk, feel free to walk around the lake. Nobody can do that. The, the seniors are scared. all new at six. This woman fears for her safety after she says violent crime has increased at her west side apartment complex. And just one of the reasons why a 21 year old raped and robbed at gunpoint in the Westlake apartments Wednesday night. And she is worried her landlord isn't doing enough to keep tenants safe. Now RTV6 is working to get answers on what exactly is being done. Here's Katie Hines. Town Erica Westlake Apartments is the largest apartment complex in the city of Indianapolis. And take a look, we have Indy's Safe Town website pulled up where you can see in real time the current and recent calls, police calls to this complex. Some of them include theft and shots fired. I am very, very scared. Susie Gilly has called Westlake Apartments home for more than 15 years, but she says she has only started fearing for her safety in the last year. I personally seen cars shot at, shooting at each other. We first introduced you to Gilly last December. She reached out to us less than two weeks after a Domino's pizza delivery driver was robbed here and the day after her own windshield was smashed. Gilly says the crime has grown increasingly worse. She points to a daytime shooting and the rape and armed robbery of a 21-year-old woman, both in the last 72 hours. Years ago, I sold to move to Westlake. It was supposed to be a safe community, and uh, we need to do something to make it safe. Newly elected city county councilor Jared Evans agrees. He says he remembers when the complex had security on site full time. I think we need full-time security, and I think the residents need to get organized, and they need to demand it. Evans grew up on the west side and still lives in this part of the city. His new district will run close to Westlake Apartments, but he says he's concerned crime has not only increased in this complex, but all over the west side. It's a scary situation for a lot of people. I think that the environment is out here that eventually could lead to what we're seeing in some of the higher areas of murder and crime, um, so we've got to be aggressive. We spoke to the company that manages Westlake Apartments this afternoon. Flaherty and Collins Properties Senior Vice President Jill Heron says the company hires off-duty IMPD officers for 310 <coughs> hours per month of security at the complex. And she says the company holds monthly crime watch meetings and is collaborating with nearby apartment communities. And back out live, again, this Safe Town website showing you the calls to this apartment complex in the last 24 hours when asked if she agrees with Gilly's assessment that crime has increased specifically at West Lake, the Flaherty and Collins property manager tells us that she thinks crime has increased across the state. Reporting live tonight, Katie Hines, RTV6.